Good evening and welcome to the US 192 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Johnny Demosten and I am the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain plans to resurface a section of US 192 from US 27 to the Orange County Line. We want to hear from you and there are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to questions and writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448764-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501, D-Land, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email m-e-l-i-s-s-a dot m-c-k-i-n-n-e-y at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, mail station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399. By phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulakowski at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Lake County on US 192, also known as West Erlo Bronson Memorial Highway or State Road 530. The project begins east of US 27 and ends at the Orange County line. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, is 448764-1. The purpose of this project is to repave US 192 to maintain a safe and reliable travel surface. Additional safety improvements include restriping the road to provide a new travel pattern in the westbound direction, adding crosswalks at the intersection of Town Center Boulevard and US 192, and adding six-foot sidewalks on both sides of US 192 to fill in gaps on the existing roadway network. Now let's take a closer look at the project improvements. Beginning at the driveway to the Marathon gas station, the pavement will be restriped to implement a new travel pattern in the westbound direction. The existing left and middle through lanes will continue through to US 27, as shown in yellow. The existing right through lane and right turn lane will be combined and restriped to an exclusive right turn lane into Town Center Boulevard, as shown in green. The restriping will continue on US 192 west of Town Center Boulevard. The right lane will become the northbound entrance to US 27, as shown in green. And the left lane will become the southbound entrance to US 27, as shown in yellow. As part of this study, a crash analysis was conducted on US-192 within the project limits. Between 2017 and 2022, one bicycle crash and eight pedestrian crashes were recorded, two of which resulted in a fatality. The Florida Department of Transportation is dedicated to reducing the number of transportation-related fatalities and serious injuries to zero. The improvements on display here are expected to improve safety for all users on US-192. To improve pedestrian and bicycle safety, crosswalks will be added at the Town Center Boulevard and US 192 intersection. 
There are existing sidewalks south of US 192 within the project limits, as shown in purple. However, these sidewalks are discontinuous with many gaps between them. As part of this project, FDOT will fill in sidewalk gaps on US 192, as shown in pink. This project is currently in the design phase and is anticipated to be completed by spring 2025 and will cost approximately $1.2 million. All improvements will be done within the existing right-of-way, and therefore right-of-way acquisition is not required. Construction is anticipated to begin in the summer of 2025 and will cost approximately $4.9 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Wednesday, September 18, 2024, seven days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448764-1. You may also contact FDOT project manager Johnny DeMosthen directly by email at j-o-h-n-n-y dot d E-M-O-S-T-H-E-N-E-S at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, D-Land, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Johnny DeMosthen at 386-943-5206 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 44876-4-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Wednesday, September 18, 2024. Have a good evening.